welcome back. It's all about me, motivation, innovation, inspiration for you and you and you. I am Tony Taylor, and man, do I make a great entrance. Well, maybe not so much with the budget that I have. I'm using a Bluetooth speaker, power switches that are elsewhere. Never mind. I'm not going to give you the behind-the-scenes secrets of all my madness. But it's all about me, motivation, innovation, inspiration, as I just said, for you and you and you. So if you're a first-time viewer, I want to thank you for taking the time to check this video out on YouTube. And if you are one of my faithful viewers, a special thank you for continuing to watch these wonderful things. Well, I know your first question is probably this. Where have I been? What happened in November? And again, if you're a new viewer, you don't know, but I tend to try to do a new video once a month. And so what happened in November, you're probably asking, because chapter 28, which my last video was in October, skip November, what happened? Well, I can answer that question for you. Um, in November, I just really just got caught up in other stuff, and but I can tell you what the idea was that I had for November. Um, the planned video for November was going to be all about gratitude and gratefulness and to tie in Thanksgiving and all that stuff. So I was going to talk about all the things I'm thankful for, and let's just be honest, um, I try to count all my blessings out, and I had to recount over and over again because there's just so many things I'm thankful for. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. You know, my immediate family, my in-laws, my wife, my church family, my job, my this, my that. There's so much that I could be thankful for that I'd be going on and on and on that it probably wouldn't be all that exciting. But I want to say I had a great Thanksgiving. I was with my in-laws up north. Um, unfortunately, Gina got sick on one of the days, but it's all right. We had a great time. Um, and I'll leave it at that. But you know, with it being December, I wanted to make sure, I really wanted to make sure I did a video for December. Now you're probably asking yourself, hmm, I wonder what the video's going to be on. I know it seems pretty obvious, right? The title is, Tis the Season, right? So I know your next question. See, you're going to be, you're full of questions for me already. I know your next question. Your next question is, okay, Tony, with it being Christmas and, or with December and Christmas coming up, what do you want for Christmas? I'm glad you asked, because I'm going to tell you. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Oh, actually, for those of you that didn't know, actually my front two teeth are actually fake. I broke them years ago, and I had them permanently capped years ago as well, but it's probably more recent than when I actually broke them. But anyway, I broke them, gym accident. I don't want to get into detail, it's a little graphic. But anyway, my front two teeth are fake, and you know what? I don't really miss the real ones, to be honest, because they're pretty sweet. Okay, so that's not what I want. So, you're, so, but all I want for Christmas is you. No, I know I'm referencing the Mariah Carey Christmas classic, but no. Unless the you I'm referring to is you watching, and that you watching is my wife Gina, because that's the only one that I want. Uh, sorry, no, that got crazy, but you know what I mean. And I already have her, so I don't want that. So what is it that I want for Christmas? Well, all I want is that we can be reminded of the real reason for the season. And that's my honest answer. I want us to remember truly what this holiday, what this Christmas is all about. And I'm going to waste no time and open right up to... right. Open right up to my handy dandy Bible, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna read you the verse that is based off what I want to talk about today. So, for there is born to you this day in the city of the North Pole a Savior who is Santa the Claus. Wait a minute, what translation am I reading? Is this? Oh, my mistake. I must have grabbed the earthly translation of the Bible. Because clearly, that's not what I was wanting to say. That's not what Luke 2.11 is. Um, now, I'll be the first to admit that I get caught up in a lot of the Christmas traditions that we celebrate here, whether it's the lights. I always have lights on this. I don't just have them on during the videos, I guess. But whether it's the Christmas lights, I love Christmas music, I love the Christmas cookies, if you want to make me some. I'm okay with that. Gina already made me some, but if you want to make me more, awesome. Um, I'll just try not to eat that many, because this might get a little big. But, 
and truthfully, I love all of it, but now that I've been so, as of recently, you know, in my walk in faith, um, we've lost the true meaning of Christmas. And we think, um, we rush to every store to get every last gift we need, and we spend all this time and this money and this energy on, like I said, on lights, on a tree, on gifts, on so much. And, you know, it actually dawned on me, and I kind of was thinking about this as I was thinking about this message, that Christmas is the only birthday that we celebrate that we receive gifts. Think about that for a second. Nobody else's birthday would you get gifts for it. It's not like when it's my birthday because Gina's my wife, she'll get gifts too. That doesn't happen. Or if it's her birthday, vice versa, you know the whole thing. We don't get gifts for anybody else's birthday other than our own, right? But with Christmas celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we get presents. from. So, see where I'm going with this? It kind of is weird how we have that backwards. Now, um, what I'm getting at is that we have this, you know, children, I know not many children are watching this, so I'm not um, exposing too much or crushing too many dreams when I say this, but we have this, you know, we have Santa, and I, again, I grew up, you know, Santa being a very important part of Christmas and making a list that he could check twice and find out who's naughty or nice. Now, and here's the thing, if we, we think of Santa and, yes, if we're naughty, we got a lump of coal, right? If we were nice, we got three out of the six things we had on the list that we gave him, right? Or whatever the case would be. But here's the thing that just blows my mind and can blow your mind too, is that God sent his son to us, at, at, at a baby in a manger, it took, he took on flesh as Jesus, and regardless of if we're naughty or nice, sinner, saint, he gave us Jesus. So it didn't matter if we were naughty or nice, we all got that same gift. The first Christmas gift ever was the Savior of the world. And that's why we celebrate Christmas. I know there's going to be some people who might debate on when his actual birthday was, or this, that, the other thing. I know, there's debates, but I'm not here to debate. I'm here to sh share my passion for what Christmas means to me now. I feel like so often we've gotten washed up now, in this commercialization, as I've said before, that Christmas means nothing anymore. Christmas is just another day on the calendar, December 25th, we get gifts, we give gifts, we do a snow angel, what, well, if you have snow where you are, I mean, if you're celebrating Christmas in Florida, you might make some fake snow or put lights on a palm tree, similar to what I have here, but I'm just saying, that's what we've done. Christmas has no meaning anymore, and people start saying Xmas, or... You know, all these other ways, happy holidays, season greetings, and all this other stuff, but Christmas is all about the birth of the Lord. I just think of so many, of how much power that has, and I just don't think people wrap their minds around it, all these, you know, that may not be as strong in their faith, that are celebrating this holiday and losing the meaning of it. They think they have to spend all their money on these gifts. They're, they feel so, they get stressed out. As sad as it is, Suicide rates are up. I'm sorry, I have to make that known, but suicide rates are up around Christmas time because people are so stressed that one, they don't have people to spend it with, or two, they are spending so much money and so much time and it's just mind-numbing. They just feel like they can, for whatever, want to throw their life away. I don't get it. I never have understood it. But Christmas is, again, it's just... Without, Chris, without Christ, there is no Christmas. I know the T is silent when you say Christmas, right? But how you spell it is C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S. You can't have Christmas without Christ. So I want Christ to stay in Christmas. Again, he, it's the only birthday that we get gifts for whatever reason. We don't deserve the gifts. We don't even deserve the first gift that I just mentioned. The humble birth of Jesus, not in a luxurious palace. He was born in a manger. In a manger. 
That's where horses and sheep and cows eat. But he was born wrapped in cloths in a manger. It just it boggles my mind, and I think, I, and I even have broken down before where I used to break down Christ and the Christ and Mus of Christmas and try to spin on and do it like Spanish, so Mas Christ, like meaning more more Christ in Christmas. And it's amazing to me, again, the gift of Him, the gift of the Lord. God put on flesh and became human in the form of a baby. Holy Spirit conceived. Virgin Mary gives birth to baby Jesus. I don't know about you, but I think there's often times, you know, we feel we were born to do something. We were born to be a doctor. We were born to do this. I used to say I'm a naturally born, and I'm a natural born entertainer. It's up for debate, I guess, if, you know, you think I'm entertaining on these videos. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. But I always felt that, you know, I might have been born to do something. We all feel like we were born or called to do something. But here's the crazy thing. The thing that just is mind-blowing is that Jesus was born, and this is going to sound dark, but Jesus was born to die. Think about that. He was born to die. Now, we all, yes, <laughs> will come to the end of our lives and we will die, but we also have a higher call. We have a higher purpose. We have a calling that we are to go for. That we are. We are called to do. Hence the calling. But Jesus was born to die. And if you really, now, if I must read the whole real Luke two eleven, how you know it's very and it's very famous. And I know many of you have probably have heard it before. Even Linus talks about it in the um, Charlie Brown Christmas. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Now, Christ came to save us, a Savior to save us from our sin that we had no idea of at the time, before we were even, any of us were created, well before we were created, He was born to save us. So He, he was born and He lived a sinless, perfect, flawless life. And he died the most brutal death ever in history. And then he rose again. And because he took on all our sin, all our shame, all our guilt, we have life. He was born to die so that we could live. I don't know about you, but that's a pretty amazing gift. I don't want any other gifts. I mean, I know people want to ask me, whether it's Gina or whether it's my parents, what do you want for Christmas? I want Christ to stay in Christmas. I want us to be able to celebrate Jesus every day. I feel like when with Christmas, sometimes people start stop bickering back and forth at each other. It's like the time where they have the most peace, often, more often than not. But, except in stores, when they open so early, they're trampling over each other, trying to get the next best thing. But, Jesus is the first gift we are given. And to me, that is the greatest gift of all. The greatest gift now, in the past, and forever, that will always be the greatest gift, because He is the reason we have life. He is the reason we breathe. And He is the reason why I speak these messages. He is the reason for the season. Forget about the presence. It's about His presence that I want this world to know. That He is Lord of all. He is the Savior of the world. That born in a manger, glory to God in the highest. All the other songs, I, like I said, I love a lot of weird Christmas songs. Whether it's the, I got a hippopotamus. 
Oh, I want it for Christmas. A hippop I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I don't. That song is ridiculous. Or um, the Trans Siberian Orchestra, which I played at the beginning. All the different. There's so many songs that I like, but when I think of all the songs that actually are celebrating the true reason for the season, joy to the world. Hark the herald angels sing. Silent night, holy night. All those songs are so powerful. And it's crazy to think when you hear them in stores and people just go along with it and say, Joy to the world, the Lord is come, let earth receive. And nobody is the wiser that they don't stop and think, Wow, I forgot that Christmas is all about Jesus. It's not about me. It's not about the gifts I give. It's not about Santa. It's not about a stocking. It's not about coal. It's not about anything like that. It's all about Jesus. Just like all these videos are all about Jesus and not about me. There are messages that I'm speaking His Spirit through, my, through me to get out to you. So remember the true meaning of Christmas. The most humble gift that we could possibly get, wrapped in cloths in a manger, a baby that would one day save us, that was a savior in the born in the city of David, not a Grinch, not Santa Claus, not Scrooge, although I love those movies, I do, but truly remember that Christ is the reason for the season. Keep Christ. In Christmas. I won't be offended if you tell me Merry Christmas. You don't have to try to show everyone say Happy Holidays to try to keep it under the rug and not offend you, but you can say it to me. Because Christ is my Savior. And He's all that I ever need for Christmas and forevermore. So I want to thank you guys. I'm sorry if I sounded like I went all crazy and stuff, but I'm passionate about my God. And I'm passionate about Christmas for that very reason. So until next time, I guess I'll have to talk about New Year's resolutions, I guess, in January, right? Will I make one? I don't know. What about you? What's a New Year hold for you? Well, I guess you'll have to tune in next time. I'm Tony Taylor. This is all about me. Motivation, innovation, inspiration for you. Good night.